that's boosting economic growth and creating wealth for Americans. It all sounds great, right? But, but, but is it realistic to say um, that his plans will double the U.S. growth rate? Is that possible? Well, I'm not sure why you all give Donald Trump any credibility at all in economics. When you talk to him, his uh, economic policies can shift in the course of one particular interview. Um, and I would agree with him that we really have to uh, improve particularly wage growth for everybody, but his policies are all about lowering taxes. This is the tried and failed policies of the last 15 years, including what George W. Bush did in 2001 and 2003. If cutting tax rates were going to give us an economic nirvana and high growth, we would have seen it by now, wouldn't we? And why is it that economic growth in and of itself is expected to raise the wages of most people? That hasn't happened in four decades. So I, I, I don't really find his policies credible. What I do find is that they're very appealing to the mainstream Republicans, to the, uh, the big donors that he's now trying to recruit, and to his economic advisors, who are a bunch of rich hedge fund and real estate guys. When, when you actually announce what his policies were, they're huge cuts for corporations, huge cuts for the rich. This is just a little icing on the cake for the middle class. This is mostly about uh, continuing to cut corporate tax rates and taxes for the rich. So th this is really a tried and failed policies of the past, and it's really just a stop to the rich, to his Republican donors, to his advisors, and maybe, maybe, maybe ingratiate himself to the Republican Party that seems so uh, annoyed by his bigotry. All right, so we, I have to leave it there, but maybe we'll find out more information from Mr. Trump's speech, noon Eastern time in Detroit. Of course, CNN will be carrying that live. Allison Kosick, Jordan Goodman, Lawrence Michelle, thank you. Thanks to all thank of you. you.